into the thought process as to where like I'm trying to see where I am now as a player and I kind of want to give a guide to those who want to do the same thing so basically I'll be going throughout a list of things that I've written down and just really be giving you an idea of what I'm thinking about player progression in this game and how I myself why I believe I've become a more effective Elder Scrolls Online player as in the fact that um I, I feel from beginning to when I started the game my progression from from a year ago has completely skyrocketed like everything that I've implemented in the game without really understanding what I was doing I kind of seen where I was going in the beginning well I kind of see I see where I was in, where I was where I was when I started playing this game and I see where I am now and it is like completely different I, I'd like to say I've improved as a person not just because of this game alone this game has definitely helped me deal with a lot of things in my life but it's definitely helped me it's definitely uh, it's definitely been gaming in general but this game is definitely one of my most favorite games now because of just uh, how I've developed as a person but going into the list um, I want to start with you need to have a goal a, a really good goal for a game like Elder Scrolls Online I say that because in the beginning you kinda just your feet are just like you're you're green like you're completely green in this game like when I first came here I've only seen like gameplay a year ago my first before I started playing I saw gameplay and I, I knew about the game for a while I never got the game because I didn't have the money and I wanted to play the game so three years later I finally bought the game fresh off the banana boat get into the game I get into the game uh, first thing I do and oh I don't understand any of this I just go out and farm everything I see I collect all the materials I see that was my goal in the beginning Wow yeah that was my goal in the beginning and as I slowly progressed I kind of had a goal of where I wanted to put myself like in the beginning I just wanted to get to I guess level 50 but it really was a bit more than that after a while as I started to play more and more I decided you know what I want to be a tank in a dungeon I tanked in Final Fantasy 14 I tanked a lot in that game I tanked in Final Fantasy 14 for two and a half years and tanking in this game is was like totally different than Final Fantasy 14 like completely different you it Final Fantasy 14 you had uh, you had rage you had you in both games you have a range taunt and you have a close combat taunt but in Final Fantasy all the taunts can be used as AOEs all of them are pretty much AOEs you only get two taunts in this game Final Fantasy has five different taunts five different taunts that can be used on all different kinds of tanks this game you have to completely understand that you have to taunt every enemy at uh you have to taunt every enemy initially with the either the the singular range taunt because it's it's single target as well as the other single taunt but then again there's other sets in game that can actually make aoe taunts like tormentor and that's actually one of the few ones that can do that but on like some classes have aoe's and you can attack first as a tank like DK has like um, the ability that has I think it's not Sunder Flame but uh, it's an AoE that 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 snares enemies that's that's what I've used for a while as my main entry into taunting then I just slowly taunt everything together so that that was another goal of mine as I progressed through the game and then eventually once I got pa past that point I went into trying to PvP PvP was a whole nother beast because the only serious PvP that I've gone into before this was Dark Souls and the whole Soul series and um, Destiny. This game, this game's combat system is nothing like anything I've ever played before. Entire, entirely nothing, nothing I've ever played before. So learning it from the ground up was a complete ordeal for someone like me because me by default me being who I am I can play a game for a very long time but it takes that's it, it takes me a much longer time to actually understand a lot of the things 
because I have a I understand that I have a slower learning curve than most people I have to put in a lot of time and effort but I have a lot of energy to put into that so I'm assuming that's why I can do that so that's why I'm saying uh, need to have a goal and a concise one so I pretty much push myself past this point and I pretty much understand how a lot of the combat works in this game I've improved a lot as a PvPer. I understand my rotation, I understand how to use combos, I understand how to play defensively and offensively, I know how to switch back and forth, I know how to give blows and take blows, I know how to be defensive, I understand a lot of the core mechanics and I'm constantly improving. I've gotten to the point where I can, I can handle myself alone in a duel, I can sustain longer in duels, I can sustain in like uh, open world I can sustain and like when multiple people are beating on me I can get in the fight and I can get away constantly I've improved a lot as a player since the beginning and the short time of a year not to mention there's a little, so much content in the community you can actually learn from that's the next topic willing to learn improve and ask questions that's another thing this community as a whole is enormous there are a huge amount of not just it's not so I don't see a talented player solely as someone who is just good at the core mechanics of the game I see it as someone who can craft something that is completely unique and very effective you have no idea how many effective builds there are that nobody knows about like a lot of the small content creators that you see on YouTube some of them have very similar builds some of them almost exact copies of what's meta but some people have something that's so left field you won't even understand what you're looking at but they're just completely decimating people I'm, I'm specifically talking about Brooklyn King and his Magicka Dragonite it completely blew me away when I looked at it he has a very amazing build his streams are very entertaining to watch you should definitely check him out I might I'll try to leave a link in the, in the description but yeah uh, learning and improving is a great learn constantly learning by watching other players and constantly trying to improve your own game and completely just asking questions about builds and like gameplay not even just for PvE PvP but PvE too there's a lot of great builds out there that I learned from and that I took from that completely helped me learn how to play this game and improve as a player in this game it was just amazing there's just so much diversity in this game it really really is amazing I mean the game has its flaws but it's still very beautiful with them. the flaws kinda make the game and it's gradually improving so like really uh, yeah just constantly learn and improve and ask questions in this game there's never enough questions that you can ask because there's always something you can learn There's always something you can do differently with your builds and and your coordinations as a player the next thing is using your time wisely and making the right adjustments uh, for me um, I guess sometimes I spend too much time doing the wrong things in games sometimes I'll try to burn through a level for example maelstrom arena if you want to complete Maelstrom Arena, you not only have to have a good uh, good amount of equipment, but you have to understand the core mechanics, as well as having a good rotation as well. You kind of have to know how to survive and... Mm, excuse me. You need to know how to survive in there, as well as being able to deal a lot of damage to mobs and enemies. And um, for me, I like to just... I still have this uh, core mentality like I, I'm just gonna go in there and just beat it like a hammer and just stay there for hours that's something I'm trying to get away from it's effective in most scenarios of learning but it's not the most effective in all of them especially for something like Milster Marina in, in veteran mode it's not the best option for me so really it's the ability to take a step back and analyze the situation what I like to do in a lot of things I look back at footage that's especially something that I did in the previous game that I played and still am playing today destiny as a I, I always look back at my own footage to improve upon what I'm doing wrong or to completely just change it entirely just taking the time to step back improving something is will definitely help your game out a lot 
hands down, it's one of the best things you can possibly do as a student of anything, really. The next thing, the next, the next thing, and probably one of the most important things is finding yourself a team. I played, um, I played most of this game solo. Most of this game I played solo. I've met some people that I stuck with for a while. I taught them what I knew, and um, they eventually left. And then I eventually found another team to be a part of. Having a team is much better than being a solo player a majority of the time like I've like I've always played games like alone which isn't bad don't get don't get me wrong when I do PvP or any other stuff I'm definitely solo I I most of the time when I do that stuff I prefer to be solo dolo unless like my friends are on and they want to do uh, some stuff I'll definitely hit them up like in, in battlegrounds I'm pugging entirely. I'm not in anybody's team unless they want to do it. We'll do a we'll run a few matches and that'll be it. But really, I like having a team with similar goals in mind. Like if we want to get some stuff done, like if we if we if we're we're trying to do a veteran uh, Dragon Star Arena and completing on completed on veteran for the first time this weekend, we're working towards that together. You need eight ten alloys, I got you. You need some drag wax, I got you. You need some potions, I got you. That's how we function. We work together to get this get this goal done together. If somebody else needs to be brought up, I'm going to be your man to help you. Having a team is so much better than not having a team. Like if you don't have something, we're like we're like brothers in the same sense. We're going to I'm going to help you because we're working together towards this goal. But uh, also another thing about that if if they don't come right away just just don't go seek them out they'll find you like the right people will come find you eventually you need to focus solely on being the best player you can be like if you know how to farm resources farm resources to the best of your ability and do that you're really good at pvp constantly improve there is no learning curve for pvp just keep going just keep going improving thinking of things that nobody else is thinking of Look at things nobody else is looking at. Just just keep going. That's also part of the next subject. Constantly adjust your build, constantly improve, and constantly challenge yourself. Always try to improve upon something because don't stick with what is never stick with what is always always used. That's what I don't that's something I've always never done. If it's meta, I don't use it. If a lot of people like it, if I hear it's good, oh good, cool. I don't use it. That's just how I am as a player. Like even in Destiny, when Palindrome was like supreme king of hand cannons, didn't use it, didn't like it, didn't touch it. It's the same way thing. It's the same thing about how like I feel about uh, Seventh Legion and Werewolf on DK. I I'm not gonna get into that because I was using that months before anybody else. So I'm not even gonna talk about it. It's a great setup, very great setup, beautiful setup. When heavy armor got nerfed, everybody started coming towards it. But then again, eh, it is what it is. But yeah, constantly adjust your builds. Constantly try to challenge yourself. Constantly make alterations and changes in things that you do. And then you will definitely see serious improvements. And I think the last topic for this video, and one of the most important ones, know when to reel it back and take a breather. Uh, some of us talking about me <laughs> me specifically some of us uh, forget that we are living bre breathing human beings that require nourishment <laughs> and have specific in in real life desires that have things that need to be done you have to reel it back and just be a person a, a real person in real life so take time out of your day to just be a real person go out see like colors get your vitamins from the sun that you haven't seen in like months at a time just just go out and be a person go exercise go go walk go do something go eat go eat some go eat some grass or something but yeah that's that's just the topic I was I wanted to get on I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant and something it's just really something I wanted to talk about and thanks again for watching have a great day